Hello friends, the question is like this. We have to evaluate this integral 1 upon cos of x plus a into cos of x plus b with respect to x. So friends, if we have to solve this integral, on observing this integral, we see that it contains a little bit of a complex term in the denominator. We cannot apply a simple formula to uh, just simplify this expression. So the best thing is this that we will simplify this expression so that it can be integrated separately. Okay. So firstly, we shall simplify the given expression and for the simplification, we take the, the fraction itself and we multiply and divide the fraction with sine of a minus b. Okay. So in other words, we have multiplied sine a minus b in the numerator and to the denominator. And you know, they can be cancelled. So actually we have done nothing. So the value of this integral is not going to change. And secondly, it should be noted that sine of a minus b is a constant. Now, next what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust the terms in such a way that the, the function can, could be solved further. So for this, what I've done, I've written sine of a minus b as sine of x plus a minus x plus b. So what I've done, I have uh, to this term a minus b, I've added x and subtracted x. So minus x minus b minus sign can be taken common and I'm going to get minus of x plus b and two uh, and one x was added to a so I've get, I've, I'm going to print x plus a. So this a minus b can be written as x plus a minus x plus b. Okay, this is a very important step of this question because if you are not going to get this step properly, then you cannot solve the question. And remember these two terms are present with the cosine functions which are given in the denominator. Okay, now I'm going to expand this by applying the formula of sine of a minus b and whose value is equal to sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. Okay, so this term remain as it is and for this term I'm going to get sine of x plus a cos of x plus b minus cos of x plus a sine of x plus b. Further, I'm going to divide this denominator separately to this terms so i'm going to get sine of x plus a cos of x plus b whole upon cos of x plus a into cos of x plus b and minus cos of x plus a into sine of x plus b this term upon the denominator cos of x plus a into cos of x plus b now here you can see cos of x plus b cos of x plus b cancels out and this is going to become 10 of x plus a and here again cos of x plus a cos of x plus a are going to cancel out and here I'm going to obtain 10 of x plus b. So this will be equal to 1 upon sine of a minus b into 10 of x plus a minus 10 of x plus b. Now we can integrate these two terms very easily. So the integral can be written as 1 upon sine of a minus b times the integration of 10 of x plus a minus 10 of x plus b with respect to x. Okay. Now to solve further, we are going to use this formula. Integration of 10x is equal to minus log of cos x. So integration of 10x plus a would be equal to minus log of cos of x plus a. So this will be equal to this term as it is. So integration of 10 of x plus a is written as minus log of cos of x plus a and here I'm going to get plus log of cos of x plus b. So this will be my required answer. It requires a little bit of simplification. So we are going to combine these two terms of log to obtain 1 upon sine a minus b times the log of cos of x plus b upon cos of x plus a plus c to get the required answer. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.